So these might look like two ordinary official tournament store booster packs, packs that you would receive when you enter a local tournament. However, would you believe me if I told you these were error packs and you guys might not see why at first glance, but I'm telling you they are. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and in today's video I'm excited because we're actually going to be opening up some OTS tournament packs but they're not just any packs these are going to be error packs and you might not be able to tell right off the bat but I promise when we get into today's video you guys will see what I mean but if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel but we do a full 10 videos a week. Five long videos five short videos so you guys are going to get a ton of different forms of content you got deck profiles dual replays product openings like this one there's so much for you guys to see so make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned into all of that i'm really excited to get into today's pack opening so with that let's get right into the video all right so here we have the two ots tournament pack 20s packs that you guys can only receive when you enter your local tournaments and they might look like normal ots packs to you and i'm going to explain where the error comes from in just a little bit but first thing we're going to do is we have a ton of packs over here we're going to save these ots packs to the side for a little bit later i just have some packs i've been laying around so we're going to do an opening so that you guys can get some content at least with this video and then we're going to end off the video with these error packs and we're going to find out what exactly is inside of them i'm really excited let's just get things started here with the burst of destiny booster packs i mean i haven't opened burst of destiny in a while this set is from 2020 i think at this point is it 2020 or 2021 something like that it's an older set at this point it doesn't really say here does it no it doesn't but yeah um this is an older set has some pretty cool cards moye is now kind of pricey again i don't remember everything that was in bode i think um was uh was a uh, was a uh, was it was it dp that was in here i think dp might have been in here we have a fluandries oh the fluandries cards were in here i forgot about that as well all right so yeah we haven't opened boat in a while but again today's video is going to be all focused on these error packs over here i'm really excited to get into them just because like you guys will see when you guys will see what the error is or if you guys already know what the error is let me know in the comment section down below it's something that you guys might not notice off the bat but when you guys see it in comparison to what a normal pack would look like then it'd be insane so here let's see what we have we just skipped it completely heavy interlock okay so two super rares that's two for two super rares let's see if we can pull something kind of half decent from these burst of destiny packs we also have one lightning overdrive by the way which is just another pack that i had laying around sometimes i just have packs laying around from when i win tournaments or i enter tournaments and i get packs and i just you know i just hold on to them then you know, sometimes i'm like eh, i don't want to open just a single pack i like doing these kind of openings instead so here we have guys i've done this multiple times now we have ultimate flagship i saw the fusion i thought it was dpe but now i don't remember if dpe was even in this set was DPE bowed? Man, why can I not remember? Okay, we have one pack of Burst of Destiny and one pack of Lightning Overdrive. Let's get into a Lightning Overdrive now. And uh, then we'll get into the OTS packs. Then we'll get into the bread and butter and the meat and potatoes of this video. These error packs, when you guys see what the error is, you guys might be a little another super rare. Guys, can we get something a little bit better than a super rare? But yeah, when you guys see what the error is, then uh, I think you guys will be a little bit curious because I've been curious. I've got them a while ago and I was like, these just don't feel right. And again, you guys will see what I mean. Here we're in our last pack of Burst of Destiny though. Let's see if we can end it off with something better than a super rare. You're guaranteed a super rare in these packs, by the way. I think the next card is a super, so or the foil. So let's go from the back here. Um, I think this is the last card. Nope. There's oh, it's a spell card. We know that. Alright, let's see what it is. It's a super rare supernatural danger zone. Okay, so we pulled what five for five supers? That is kind of unfortunate. But that's not what we're here for. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of something uh for this video but uh let's get right into the meat and potatoes i keep wanting to say i don't even know what i want to say actually at this point i just i was just saying words okay so these are the two ots 20 tournament packs that you guys can see where essentially when you enter locals you get given one of these these ots packs if you guys don't know have three ultimate rare cards in each set there's also 10 super rares as well as i think 20 commons or something in the set i can't remember actually i guess it's right here yeah 14 commons 10 supers three ultimate rares i don't know why i was saying that it's right there but these packs are really cool because the ultimate rares in these packs are pretty good i think this one has winter cherries ray and I forget the third one off the top of my head is Winter Cherries, Ray, and something else. But the reason these are error packs is I'm just going to take one pack over here. We'll put the other pack to the side. You guys remember those OTS packs we had at the beginning? Here's another OTS 20. Do you guys see anything that's a little bit different? Okay, so first thing you guys might see is that this is kind of shifted, right? Like if you see the tournament store logo, this is kind of shifted to the left. Whatever, that just might be a packaging error. Look at this. If we put them on top of each other, this OTS 20 pack over here is much larger than this OTS 20 pack. So do you see, guys see the difference? Do you guys see how much of a difference it is? Like there's a whole, I don't even know. I don't, I wouldn't say that's an inch, but uh, 
yeah, it's pretty, it's a pretty big difference, right? And same thing with this other pack over here. Let's put this over here. Same thing with the other pack. You guys can see that it's much bigger. Now you guys might be wondering, okay, but Spanko, how do you know that these are the weird ones and this is not the weird one? Well, here's a brand new OTS 21. And if I put them side by side, they're right perfectly on top of each other. So you guys can see that these ones are like the automatic out kind of thing. They're completely different. And uh, yeah, they, they just, I don't know. The, the coloring is kind of off. If you guys see it in person, I don't know if you guys can see it actually or tell on camera. The coloring is kind of off with these. You guys can see that these are shifted to the left here on this one. Is this one also shifted? This one's also shifted. So you guys can see both of the images for the logo here shifted to the left. I don't know. They look kind of odd. Now, I don't think they're fake because I got them from a local store. So I know that these are packs essentially that Konami gave to the store. I'm, well, I have to assume that, right? Unless they're forging their own packs, which I don't think they are. These are still sealed, you guys can see. So I don't think they're, they're definitely not resealed because you guys can tell because here and here, they're still like stuck to the pack, right? So they're not resealed or anything. That's where my kind of confusion comes from. These I think are definitely error packs. I'm just gonna show you guys one more time. This is such a big like difference here. So for that reason, I want to open these up. Let's open up uh, this OTS 20 and OTS 21 pack that we have laying around though, just to see what a normal pack should look like. And I mean, I would love to get an ultimate rare here. It's very unlikely we pull an ultimate rare, but you know, it would be nice. We have a gadget. Okay, well, there's our super rare. So nothing there. We have a Hanzo as well. Ninjas have been picking up in popularity though. So that's kind of cool. All right, so that's our first OTS pack. OTS 21. So fun fact, my friend gave this to me and I told him I didn't want to open it because I don't want to open uh, a Merly, and he was like, watch it be a Merly. So let's find out if it's some. Oh, it's a Havanus. Okay, I was close. I thought it would be a Merly, but it's a Havanus. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we got some pretty cool cards here. Photon Sanctuary being a common is kind of nice. All right, so that's it for the packs. Let's get into these two error official tournament store tournament pack 20s. And like, uh, guys, it just feel, they feel weird. I can't explain it to you guys, but the plastic feels off. Just like the material, everything just feels off with this one. Maybe it was just quality control. I don't know what it is. It's opening different. I hope the cards are the same size. I'm gonna assume that the cards are the same size. Yeah, they look like the same size as standard cards here. So would this be the super rare? Yeah, the super rare was in the front last time, right? So I think it would be the super rare or potentially an ultimate rare. Nemesis Elephant. Oh, we got an earphone. Oh, it was in the back this time. Am I tripping? Was that in? Was that not in the front in the first pack? Was it? I feel like it was. All right, well, that looks like a normal pack, I guess, to me. OP20, OP20, OP20. We got a super rare in comments. Okay, let's find out with this one. Again, like you guys can see, like it's just so much space inside. Maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe I think, maybe it's just a weird packaging error, but it's definitely an error. So, okay. So this time I'm going to assume it's in the back. Okay, I guess it is in the back. All right, so we got a sacred tree. We have a grave. Wait, wait, what? That was only two cards. Wait, where's the third card? No, are you not guaranteed? You're guaranteed three cards per pack, right? It, that's not, uh, that's a thing, right? You guaranteed, what does it say? Three cards per pack. What? We only got two cards, we got gypped. No way. Okay, so it was definitely an error. I mean, you could definitely obviously tell it's an error. Yo, we only got two cards in that pack. Yo, I'm, just, I'm like scavenging through the packs. There's nothing left in these. Oh no. All right, well, I mean, I guess I was safe to assume, it was safe to assume that these were error packs. I mean, this was definitely an error. That's funny though. I've never had a pack with only two cards in it. I've funny enough had a pack with four though. I'll be honest with you. I've had a pack with four, but never had a pack with two cards. And uh, here it is. Grave of the super ancient organism is the super rare, but uh, yeah, we only got two cards in that pack when we're guaranteed or supposed to be guaranteed three cards in that pack. I don't know. I don't know, that was funny though. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy the pack opening. We didn't honestly pull too well, but it was really cool to open up those error packs. And in that last pack, we literally only got two cards, which is kind of insane if you think about it. Is this something, now that I think about it, is this something you can go to Konami about and be like, hey, I only got two cards in my pack when you're supposed to be guaranteed three. Would I? Would they send me a free pack? Who knows? Who knows? I actually don't know if that, that's how it works. Cause I feel like errors like that when they're guaranteed something and you don't get what you're guaranteed, maybe they reimburse it. I don't know. Anyways, at the end of the day, I hope you guys did enjoy. That's all that matters. If you guys did make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos, just like this one. Also let me know in the comment section down below, if you guys have ever gotten an error pack, it could be an OTS pack, but just any error pack in general. Cause I'm really curious to know what you guys have pulled or the, the weird things that you guys have seen in your packs as well. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys all for watching it with that. Spankos. I don't know. Peace.
Get up, get up.